morning students welcome to sst so simple tutorial you must have seen the sample paper issued by the board for 2020 examinations if not see the previous video it contains few questions related to pictures given in the textbook as question as one mark question since we have finished lesson 1 rise of nationalism in europe let us start with the figures of this lesson so take out your books and let us begin figure 1 its name is the dream of the worldwide democratic and social republics it is one of the four prints made by frederick sorio it is already described in the first video you can see that figure 2 this is the cover of a german almanac designed by the journalist andries rubman in 1798 The image of the French Bastille stormed by the revolutionary crowd has been replaced by a similar fortress to represent the bastion of despotic rule in the German province of Kassel. Accompanying the illustration is the slogan the people must seize their own freedom. Come to figure 4. This is the planting of the tree of liberty in Zweibrücken, Germany. It shows the occupation of the town of Zweibrücken by the French armies. The painter is Karl Kasper Frizz. He has portrayed the French armies as oppressors as they seize a peasant's cart. See towards the left. They harass some young women. See the center foreground. The plaque being affixed to the tree of liberty carries a German inscription which reads take freedom and equality from us the model of humanity this is a sarcastic remark to the claim of the french as being liberators who opposed monarchy in the territories they entered this is figure 5 here napoleon is represented as a postman on his way back to france after he lost the battle of libjik in 1813 1813 each letter dropping out of his bag bears the name of the territories he had lost this is figure 6 it is basically a caricature treaty of vienna 1815 resulted in setting up of conservative regimes which proved autocratic in nature they imposed censorship freedom of speech was curbed nobody was allowed to give expression to his thoughts one could keep his thoughts to oneself but could not share with anyone else this is figure 8 it was a painting made by eugene delacroix its name is the massacre of chios it depicts an incident in which 20000 greeks were said to have been killed by turks in the island of chios through this painting the painter sought to appeal to the emotions of the spectators and create a sympathy for the greeks come to figure 9 this relates to what we read in hunger hardship and popular revolt it shows peasants uprising in 1848 this is figure 10 it is showing the frankfurt parliament being held in the church of st pauls This is figure 11. It is a painting which shows the proclamation of the German Empire in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles. At the center stands Caesar William the 1st and the chief commander of Prussian army General von Roon. This is figure 13. This is the caricature of Bismarck in the German Parliament Reichstag. It depicts Bismarck as holding a whip. signifying that he is a ruthless man ruling with an iron hand while leading the parliament the deputies who were elected are afraid of him and so are hiding under their tables this is figure 15 here garibaldi is seen helping king victor emmanuel ii of sardinia piedmont to pull the boot named italy The artist has portrayed Garibaldi as holding on the base of the boot so that the king can enter it from the top. This is figure 16. This is a postage stamp of 1850 with the figure of Marianne. 
representing the Republic of France. This is figure 17. This is the painting of Germania, which was meant to be hanged from the ceiling of the Church of St. Paul, where the Frankfurt Parliament was convened in March 1848. The painter is Philip V. This is figure 18. Its name is Fallen Germania, made by Julius Gunner in 1850. The painter has painted a disgraced Germania. One can see the German pride and strength raised down on the ground. The painting depicts a deep sense of hurt and anguish that the Germans experienced at the failure of the Frankfurt Parliament in 1848. This is figure 19, Germania guarding the Rhine. The inscription on the sword reads, the German sword protects the Rhine. This ends the picture used in the lesson. You can go through the video anytime to, re to quickly recall the pictures. I hope you must have liked this video. I will try to make a video on the MCQs from this lesson. Till then, keep reading. Thank you.